गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई विल स्टार्ट द सेकेंड क्लास ऑफ सब्ट्रैक्शन एंड इन दिस क्लास वी विल लर्न सब्ट्रैक्शन ऑफ टू डिजिट नंबर विदाउट बोरोइंग एंड सब्ट्रैक्शन ऑफ थ्री डिजिट नंबर विदाउट बोरोइंग सो फर्स्ट वी विल लर्न सब्ट्रैक्शन ऑफ टू डिजिट नंबर विदाउट बोरोइंग एंड फॉर दिस वी हैव टेकन सम sweet and ripe blackberries and i know you all love to eat sweet and ripe blackberries so for doing subtraction we have to count how many blackberries are here so we have counted and there are 66 blackberries inside this bowl so how many blackberries are we here we have taken we have taken 66 blackberries now you and your friends have eaten up 54 blackberries so from 66 blackberries you have eaten 54 blackberries so how many blackberries are left in the bowl for this what we have to do we have to do subtraction and you can observe that 66 and 54 both are two digit number as they are having ones and tens digit tens digit number so what are the things that we have to keep in mind while doing the subtraction yes the things that we have to keep in mind is that first one we have to write the greater number above the smaller number and second thing first subtract the right means the ones digit number next subtract the left that is the tens digit number then you have your answer means you get your answer and what we call the answer in a subtraction yes we call it as the difference and everyone should learn the spelling of difference now let's start doing the subtraction and we have to start our subtraction from ones place so in ones place we have 6 and 4 above we have 6 and below we have 4 and if we take away 4 from 6 what remains let us see Here we have six dots or six circles, one, two, three, four, five, six. Among that we have crossed or cancelled four circles, one, two, three, four. So how many remains? Yes, two circles are remaining. So answer is two. Six minus four is two. Next we will do the subtraction of tens digit number. Six minus five. So, in tens place we have six and five. So, if we give six balls, one, two, three, four, five, and six. From six balls, if we cross five balls, one, two, three, four, five. So, how many remains? One. So, six minus five is one. This you can do in your finger counting also. As you are in standard two, you have to use your fingers to do subtraction. So, we get the answer. As twelve, so sixty-six minus fifty-four is twelve. So the difference is twelve. Now we will learn more about subtraction of two-digit numbers without borrowing. What it is? Subtraction of two-digit numbers without borrowing. and for this one thing we have to keep in our mind that is remember in subtraction we always write the greater number above the smaller number what it is student what we have to remember in in case of subtraction the most important thing is that in subtraction we always write the greater number above the smaller 
number now let us do some uh, subtraction and find it out now we will do find the difference and what is difference what i have told you in the first class of introduction of subtraction that difference is the answer in a subtraction the answer or the result that we get in subtraction that is called the difference so here we have to find the difference now see the first question what i have given is i have to subtract 51 from 76 now just now i said that in subtraction we always write the greater number above the smaller number so here have i written it yes i have written the greater number that is 76 is greater greater number above the smaller number because in 76 and 51 76 is greater than 51 okay now we will solve it and previously we have seen that we start our subtraction from the ones digit number and in ones digit i have 6 and 1 so 6 minus 1 is how much from 6 if i have 6 balls from that if i take away one ball how many ball will remain yes five balls so i will write here five next i will go to the tens place in tens place i have seven and five so from seven balls if i take away five balls so how many remains yes Two. Two will be my answer. So if I subtract 51 from 76, what will be my answer or the difference? My answer will be 25. Now come to the B question. I have to subtract 20 from 53. And in one's place, I have 3 and 0. And we know that already we have learned one subtraction fact that if, if we subtract 0 from any number, that is no subtraction. I will get the number itself. So, 3 minus 0 will be 3. And in tens place, I have... 5 and 2. So 5 minus 2 is 5 minus 2. Yes, it's 3. So if I subtract 20 from 53, my answer will be 33. Now coming to the C question, I have 45 and 15 that means I have to subtract 15 from 45 and in one's place I have 5 and 5 and in subtraction fact we have learned that if we subtract two same numbers what will be my answer? My answer will be 0 yes 0 and in tens place I have 4 and 1. And what another property we have learned that if we subtract 1 from any number, we will get the previous number or the before number. So if we subtract 4, if we subtract 1 from 4, we will get previous number that is 3. So what is my answer? If we subtract 15 from 45, my answer is 30. Next, coming to the last question, D, I have to subtract 80 from 96 and in one's place I have 
6 and 0. So we know that if we subtract 0 from any number, the answer will be the number itself. So 6. And from 9, if I subtract 8, I will get? Yes, I will get 1. So, if I, I have subtracted 80 from 96 and I got the answer 16. So, understood children? Sub, subtraction of two digit numbers without borrowing. Subtracting three digit number without borrowing. Subtracting three digit number without borrowing. And in three digit numbers we know that we have ones, tens and hundred. Just now we have seen two digit number. Now we will do with three digit number. You can see here I have taken, yeah, I will subtract 251 from 357. And I will start the subtraction from one digit numbers. So, 7 minus 1 is 6. Whenever we subtract 1 from a number, any number, we get the previous number. So, 7 minus 1 is 6. Next, we will move on to the tens digit numbers and tens digit I have 5 and 5. So, 5 minus 5 is 0. Whenever we subtract 2 numbers means whenever we subtract a number by itself we get 0. This already we have learnt in our subtraction fact. Then we will move on to the 100 digit number. We have 3 and 2, 300s and 200s. If we subtract 2 from 3, we get 1. So, here we have subtracted 251 from 357 and we got the answer as 106. Now, we will see more on this Topic. Students, we will learn the next thing that is subtraction of three digit numbers without borrowing. The same thing that we have learned in with two digit number, now we will learn with three digit number. What it is? Subtraction of three digit numbers without borrowing. The same question, find the difference. In two digit, we had only ones and tens digit numbers, but in three digit, we have another place that is hundreds. So, ones, tens and hundreds. And remember, without, without borrowing. And the same question, find the difference, means we have to find the answer by doing subtraction. So, here in question number A, what I have, I have to subtract, I have to find the difference of this 700, 729 and 315. That means I have to subtract 315 from 729 and always I have to start from the ones place number or ones digit number. So, what I have and the same rule that always the greater number is above the smaller number. Okay, children, you can understand because 729 is greater than 315. So, greater number in case of subtraction, greater number is always written above the smaller number. Now, let us do the subtraction. 9 minus 5, how much from 9? If I take away 5, 4 is remained. Then 2 minus 1, yes, 1. And from 7 minus 3, 4. 
correct guess. So, from 729, if I take away 315, my answer will be 414. Now, what I have to do here, I have to subtract 321 from 564. Okay? Now, again I am telling you that rule always the greater number in, in subtraction, the greater number is written above the smaller number. This you have to keep in mind while doing subtraction. Now, 4, we have to start from 1's place number. From 4, if I take away 1, how much will remain? When we subtract 1 from any number, I will get the previous number. Yes, so what I will get? Yes, I will get 3. Then, 6 minus 2 or 6 tenths minus 2 tenths. Yes, I will get 4. And 5 minus 3 or 500 minus 300, I will get 200. That I will write 2. So, what I am getting here, after subtracting 321 from 564, I am getting 243. Now, coming to our last question, that is, I have to subtract 433 from 654. 433 from 654 and here also I have written the greater number above the smaller number and in one's place I have 4 and 3 if I subtract 3 from 4 or if I take away 3 from 4 I will get 1 then in tens place I have 5 and 3 so if I take away 3 from 5, what, what will remain? Yes, 2. And 6 minus 4 or 600 minus 400, how much 100 will remain? Yes, 200. Good guess. So, 2. So, after subtracting 433 from 654, I am getting 221. Now students, you can see I have given you few questions to find the difference. This you will copy in your school copy and try to do them. And always remember that whenever we are doing subtraction, we write the greater number above the smaller number this thing you should keep in your mind thank you children and goodbye and do practice well